call this four kinds of carbon. This is real easy. You're going to be insulted. It's so easy. There's a first degree, a second degree, a third degree, and a fourth degree. First degree is called primary. Secondary. Tertiary. And quaternary. The names are not that important. <laughs> but you're going to see these two guys used in some naming, the secondary and tertiary. Now, how can I recognize what kind of carbon it is? I'm going to draw a structure, and we're going to identify the carbons. And you're going to say, this is too easy. I'm going to leave off the hydrogen just so you can see the carbons a little bit better. I've got... We're not naming it. I don't know how many I've got. Five across and something. Now, the goal here is to, by each carbon, tell me what degree it is. One, two, three, four. I could give you a definition of each one, but it would be a lot easier just to look at it. All right. Um, how many carbons does this one have hooked directly onto it? Four. Four, four. 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 yes. How's it four? Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh. You're looking up, down, side, side. That means he's a fourth degree. How many does this one have hooked on it? Two. It's a two degree. How about this one? Three. If it's on the outside, that was like 30. First degree, first degree. You see kind of what I've done here? No? You're checking to see how many carbons it's directly hooked on to. You can't have a fifth degree because carbon can't have five bonds. Any questions on that? If I drew a structure, you could tell me what degree each carbon was? I suppose. Okay. Well, I'll put that kind of off to the side because it kind of relates to the next thing, but it's not super important yet. Okay, the next thing is what I would call funky side groups. Maybe I should call them weird side groups, but the term funky has just lasted over the years for some reason. Some people don't like this, but you will. And it doesn't last long. That's one of the best parts. All right. Remember yesterday when I gave you some side groups, methyl, ethyl, propyl. Right. One of them was propyl. Propyl. Well, what I didn't tell you is there's more than one way to write a propyl group. C3H7. Here's the other way. The line comes off the middle one instead of here. That's not a hydrogen. That's a bond coming off. If it's coming off of here, this is called isopropyl. You've heard of that. If I put a hoe on there, what do you think it's called? Alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. When you're alphabetizing these guys, you know how I said I always use the name of the side group like propyl or chloro or whatever? If it's an iso, you have to use the I. Not the P. Sorry. You can blame my impact. So there's two for propyl. There's a few for butyl, and we're going to do that one too. So here's Mr. Butyl. The first one looks like this. There's only four. And this is called butyl. But there are three other ways to do C4H9. And here's one of them. What do you think that one's called? Isobutyl? It ought to be isobutyl. I mean, it should be, but it's not. It's called secbutyl. A couple things about this. Sec, because it's on a secondary carbon. This is also written in italics. Can you tell? No, me either. Uh, in the book, the sec is in italics. It's called sex butyl if you think that's more interesting. Then, there's this one. If this is a sec butyl, what do you think that one is? Okay. Turf butyl, close. Turf 
butyl. <laughs> because this is a tertiary carbon, the one with the line on it. Call it tert butyl if you want. The tert is in italics. When you're alphabetizing sec or tert, you use the B. And then you're thinking, well, where's the isobutyl? There is an isobutyl. And here it is. We'll stick him right here. And this is the last one. I'm fixing to tell you something not so nice that deals with bodily functions to help you remember this. Did I just hear yes? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Use the I to alphabetize if it's an ISO. All right. Um, yeah, you have to know them. No, you don't have to know them today. But in the next week or so, you're going to know them. There's only, like, what, seven of these? Now, one of the biggest problems was people were saying, I don't remember the difference between tert-butyl and isobutyl. They look kind of similar. Well, I had this girl in my class once. Now, this has been a few years ago. It's not that one I've been talking about in another class. Uh, this one said, I know a way to remember it. I said, really? She said, yeah, let me come draw it for you. This is completely inappropriate. So here it is. Um, YouTube. Oh, <laughs> YouTube. All right. This is a crack. And she just came up and she drew this. That is a rear end. And she said, there's the turd. I said, Tina, that's disgusting. And you know what? It's in there. I can't get rid of it. So, you, I don't know, you probably make something else out of this one, but I don't know that you can make that. So, the turd beetle, the turd one, if it works for you, use it. If it doesn't, try to forget it. You probably can't. All right, we got, we got to learn what, how to put these into names, and then we'll be done. How's my time? Seven minutes. Okay, I'm going to have to break here and then do some examples. Well, maybe not. Seven minutes. Let's see what I can do. Maybe I can do a real quick one. You got these down here. I'll just leave that there for fun. For inspiration. Was it Tina Paul? It was Tina um, Bogan. Probably don't know us. <laughs> she had two brothers and anyways. Um, okay. Since I holler when I get to about 9.45. Alright, let's say we've got this. Alright. Say I've got this. I'm going to go kind of fast, but um, I'll slow down here in a minute. I'm going to start numbering right down here at the bottom. Three. I got to figure out what the side groups are. I've got some bromos. I've got a terbutyl. So in alphabetizing this, what comes first, the bromo or the terbutyl? The bromo. The bromo. bromo. And it's not because of the B and the T. It's because the B are on the BU. I'm going to call it one, one, two, tri bromo, three, terbutyl. Side glow hexane. You can actually leave the ERT off and call it 3 T butyl. Your book does that. So now I'll see if I've messed up any. When you alphabetize, I use this and this to alphabetize it. Not the tri and the tur. I'll stick one more more over here, hoping I can beat my 10 minute limit, and then we'll talk about these to me too. Uh, a square. Let's have this. Hmm. So we got that. And I want to make this number one. I don't, it doesn't matter what direction you go in, you're at the same answer. I've got a propyl, a methyl, and an isopropyl. So I'm going to call this thing alphabetically. Let me think. Iso comes first. Three isopropyl, because you use the I. One. You have 15 seconds. Methyl. <laughs> one propyl cyclobutane. Okay, you turn it off. 